Hi, I'm Ben LaVorne. I'm the executive pastor here at First Baptist Dallas, and I am here with Barry Ford. He is our minister to young married adults. Barry, you do such a great job. I think we've probably got the best young married ministry in town. And so I appreciate everything you do. And we're here to talk about Mission 1A yes. and what it means to those under your leadership. Yes. Well, Ben, first of all, I'm so excited for all the things that God's doing in Young Married Ministry here. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to get the opportunity to talk to you about is we've been blessed with so many new couples here in this last several months. And, and as these new couples arrive, whether it's in the worship center, hearing from a milestone or just around the campus, they're hearing about this thing called Mission 1A. And for most of them, they're going, what is Mission 1A? What is Mission 1A? Help them yeah. understand what that is. Yeah. Mission 1A is our ministry strategy. It includes everything we do as a church. So yes. it's a two-year plan. It's a strategy. It's also a giving plan. So everything you give to First Baptist Dallas goes into Mission 1A. So why is it called Mission 1A? Right. Mission 1A is based on Acts 1A. Jesus told his disciples, okay. and you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem locally, in Judea and Samaria nationally, and to the uttermost parts of the world. So that is our goal. That is our mission. We want to minister. We want to carry out the Great Commission locally, nationally, and globally, and God's given us the opportunity to do that. Help us understand why it should matter to us. We're yeah. a young married couple. We're newlyweds. We're a couple about to have our first baby. We have two teenagers at home. Why does it matter? And how will it? Everybody wants to know, yeah. hey, how is this going to benefit me? How is it going to benefit young married families here at First Alice? That's a great question. Well, like I said, Mission 1A, it doesn't just include our world missions efforts, right? It includes everything we do here as a church. It's our ministry budget. And when I talk about ministry budget, I always emphasize it's so much more than keeping the lights on, right? Keeping the facilities clean. It's everything that's included in your ministry. Yes. It's everything that's included in our preschool and our children's ministry, our right. student ministry. And you know, Barry, when we talk about doing ministry, we always say we want it to be world class. Yes. We want it to be excellent. And we say it's not excellence for a church. It's excellence by any standard. So when our people come here, we want them to get world-class ministry, world-class care, right? And so we want to invest in our nursery. We want to invest in our preschool, our children's, our that students. That benefits all these families. We want to invest in the young married ministry. So they're not only going to see the impact that they're making worldwide, they're going to feel it here. Because uh, I know you've got a great vision. For our young we have lots ministry. of great things planned, and why Mission 1-8 is so exciting to me is knowing what we can do yeah. uh, as people get behind this and they understand it. And why are we asking for commitment? You know, so many yeah. people nowadays have this phobia of commitment, uh, whether it's to relationships or financial things. What is, what is the reason they're being asked to make a commitment? Why give? You know, I always say it's not what we want from them. It's what we want for them. Yes. You've experienced this. I've experienced this. Yes. God blesses a couple who is giving to him together, right? Yes. We're called to do that. We're doing it in obedience. And so that's what's best for their marriage and best for their family, yes. right? So why pledge? Uh, part of it relates to what we are doing as a church. Right. We have plans for the next two years where we're partnering with parachurch ministries to do international ministry, right. uh, sometimes in places that we see are ripe for harvest, sometimes in places that have never heard the name of Jesus Christ mm. before. And so you can't just wake up on Tuesday and decide you're going to do that, right? You can't right. just say, hey, let's go to the Himalayas. Right. You've got a plan for that. Right. And so what they pledge on the front end is going to determine what we are able to do over the next two years because we're gonna make plans based on the pledges that we receive. Right. So those commitments will largely determine the ministry that our church is able to accomplish over the next two year period. And, and some of those plans even include activities and trips that would be for families yeah. and give them an opportunity to 
get away as a family in ways that we maybe haven't had the opportunity to offer. One of the things that I'm excited about is what we're calling a synergistic ministry strategy, right? Mm -hmm. Take the nation of Brazil. We're able to broadcast Pathway to Victory. We're able to stream the iCampus. Right. We're able to go in and train pastors and church planners. And we're able to send members of our church on mission to experience all of this in person. Amazing. So it's exciting. It is. It is.